All right. So we are back. Uh, covered the 49ers in a class was Kyle Shanna scam. Kind of there, they fired Wilkes and he was made to be the scapegoat for another Super Bowl implosion by uh, the 49ers and a totally classless move from a storied franchise. So high five for those guys. Also, um, we covered Ohio State getting rid of their men's basketball coach and him getting $12 million to stay home. Good luck to that guy. And now we're in, in, it seems like we're covering a lot of firings today, but we're not. But this one, this one's a little weird, but nonetheless, we got a fire in people. Yeah, we got a fire. And now Sean Elliott resigns from Georgia State, and he's likely to return to South Carolina, the Gamecocks. And this one comes from Football Scoop and John Bryce. So, in the article, it says here that after seven seasons atop a Georgia State football program, five of which resulted in the postseason play, Sean Elliott has stepped down from the program. Elliott, who led the Panthers to five winning seasons and four bowl victories, during his tenure, informed the coaching staff this morning at 8 a.m. and followed up with a team meeting as he shared the news of his voluntary resignation. So this is probably, I wouldn't say it's one of the weirdest cases that we had, but we had somebody who voluntarily quit and they were doing a phenomenal job. They were doing a phenomenal job under his stewardship and he decided that, hey, look, I'm out. (laughs) <laughs> he was like look i am out of here that's crazy he voluntarily did this there wasn't anything there was no recruiting violations there was no scandal within the administration nobody stole any signals or he was like nah you know what i'm out i'm out south carolina <laughs> well a little bit because this was all perplexing And I just wanted to see, usually nothing happens in the world of sports. There is always a cause and effect. And the cause and effect, and then there's the the other shoot of the drop, so to say. So Sean Elliott, he's a South Carolina native who had a lengthy tenure with the Gamecocks as an assistant coach and included co-offensive coordinator for Steve Spurrier. Elliott is returning to South Carolina program to become an offensive assistant for Shane Beamer. So he's already had ties to the program uh, under Spurrier. He, he's also a native. And for him, I think him going back to South Carolina was just him going home. He was looking forward to going home. Nothing wrong with the move. I think it's, it's Of course, nobody wants to go and leave a good program that you spent time coaching and getting and getting the young men that you've recruited to come and play for you. Nobody's going to go ahead and fault you for that. I think when you voluntarily quit, when you voluntarily quit or you resign, it's because you are not happy there. And I think that he wasn't happy in five years. You know, you kind of talk yourself into something you're going to be in this job for five years and if better opportunities present themselves then you should move on move on and go where you're happiest and you know was this one of the cases i don't know but we'll get into that when we take a quick 20 from an unofficial sponsor of the show this is big Vern at app stupid we just keep on rocking Yes, Roast the Host. Roast the Host is our inaugural live show. We will be live May 10th. That's Mother's Day weekend, Friday. You got two minutes to come in. You can roast me. You can roast the show. You can roast us all. 
<laughs> you can give us that work. You can, like I said, make your case. Um, it is live. We only have a few requirements. The first requirement above all is be funny. Be funny. Second one, no racism. You know, no racism. Racism, get you blocked, get you run up out of here. Also, you got to have a picture. Got to have a picture and you have to be a subscriber to the show. We want to know what you all think. And everybody who's listening, when we go live, is going to go ahead and vote on it. And that's just how it's going to go. So make sure you tell somebody, share the link, tune in. It is Roast the Host. My wife and kids are off limits. I'm fair game. My mom is fair game. My dad is off limits. Talk about the show. Talk about production. Just be funny. It is Roast the Host. And it goes down May the 10th. So make sure you tune in. So before we left, we were talking about Sean Elliott, him not being happy at Georgia. He gave it five years. He also gave them the best of him, but he wanted to go home. He's a South Carolina native. He's also got ties to the program as a offensive coordinator and play caller under Steve Spurrier. And we just wanted to see if the other shoe would fit, because sometimes just because you want to go home doesn't mean there's a spot for you when you get home. Was that one of the cases? Now, Beamer and Elliott had previously discussed a reunion for Elliott with the Gamecocks program after Step departed for the wideouts job at Illinois, coupled with Beamer's earlier offensive staff moves that created a natural opening for Elliott to return to South Carolina. So he knew that this was going to become a position that needed to be filled because him and the head coach talked about it. So this is borderline tampering because you can see why he quit because he already had a verbal deal worked out with Carolina's head coach. Now, allegedly, because I can't prove that. I can't prove that, but you see the play. You see the play at hand. So you don't have to be a gullible sucker to feel like, hey, look, he wasn't happy. He just happened to quit his job at Georgia he voluntarily resigned but then there happened to be a job opening where he used to work at at a position that he used to actually call and he happens to know the head coach yeah (laughs) that's one of those Superman moments where as soon as he puts on the glasses it's like where did Superman go whatever bro get off of it get off of it so good people of georgia state you lost a good coach the gamecocks you have familiarity you have one of your elder sons back in the state and hopefully the gamecocks will be very competitive in the sec come 2024 we shall see we'll be back with another heartbreaking story uh out of lsu and uh, we'll cover that When we come back, this is Big Vern. Keep on rocking with us. Keep rocking with us.